Hey guys, how's it going? This is Johnny Megs, and uh, if you saw a couple of days ago, I put out my review for Build a Lot 3 Passport to Europe. Um, I mentioned that this is one of the games that I really enjoyed and I wanted to share it with you guys, so I did that bit of a review, and I'm actually going to be doing a Let's Play. So, without further ado, I've already created my username, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, if you saw my review movie of Build a Lot 3, I went through a bunch of the core, the key concepts on how to play the game and how the game normally progresses. Um, it's a fairly style, it's a strategy game, uh, it's got a fairly easy learning curve to start off and let you really get started with the bare functionality of how the game plays um, and it doesn't jump you right into the fray. Uh, Build a Lot 3 is a family friendly game um, and just like the tutorial, the review movie that I had before, we're going to skip these these intro missions here. Um, so Build a Lot 3 is a game where you play as a real estate agent, um, acquiring new property, maintaining buildings and structures, and meeting certain goals with every mission. Um, so where we're going to start off first is we're going to go to Italy, and that's where the first missions really begin past the three of the tutorial. Uh, this game does have 45 levels, uh, three for the tutorial, and it also contains a bit of a skirmish mode sort of a game that we'll unlock later. Uh, it's a timed game to reach a certain amount of money um, with the buildings that you have available at the time. So anyway, with all that aside, we're going to go ahead and start playing the campaign together. All right. Here we met our first guest, uh, our first host, actually, for Italy, uh, Angelino, and he's giving us some ideas on how to get the game started. Um, he will walk through as we click buttons and start to feel around the game. He'll instruct us how to purchase blueprints, acquire materials and workers, maintain a cash flow, and build the structures we need to complete the game. Now, I'll walk you through some of the basics before we get started. That way, we're all on the same page as I'm playing through the Let's Play. Uh, in the very top left of the screen is the deadline. That's the amount of time that we have to complete the mission that's being requested of us, which is displayed on the upper right-hand corner. In this case, we need a Venetian blueprint, we need to build two Venetians, one cottage, and we need to maintain a monthly rent cycle of $5,400. That's what we need to get done. Uh, at the top center-ish about is our career earnings, which is all the money we've acquired throughout our career. <laughs> um, every structure we build, every property we upgrade, every property we own has a certain money value to it and that's get, that gets calculated here and carried over to the next mission. Uh, down below we maintain our money, our workers, materials, blueprints, and I clicked on accident so we got it started already. Um, so to start off we need to build some Venetians but we can't do that without some blueprints. So we're gonna go ahead check blueprints and as you see, and I mentioned earlier, Angelino's going to kind of walk us through how to do this sort of a thing. We're going to purchase a Venetian blueprint. And with those schematics, we're going to be able to build the structure ourselves. Excellent. So we're going to pick an empty bit of land here. Construct house. And Venetian. Now there's a lot of buttons available, but don't, don't get discouraged or worried about it. All these things will unlock in due time adding more functionality to the game, and they'll all be explained when they're required and when they're necessary. Alright, I already went through and quickly built a Venetian, now let me do a little more explaining. When we construct a house, a service, a building, or a landmark, in this case all we have are houses, everything on the left side you see over here, oh, I can't really keep my mouse over there, uh, on the left side uh, requires workers, materials, a blueprint. Uh, that's what you need to build the building. We have enough. As you can see, there's a big green checks on it. So we're going to go ahead and click Venetian, and we're going to go ahead and get that constructed. Now, you might have noticed a dollar sign pop out of this building here. That means we've gone through an entire rent cycle, and we've been paid rent. And you'll see that again in about a second. There we go. The more structures that you own and that are properly maintained, the more rent you can acquire. So in that case, uh, we need a cottage now to complete our mission goals. So we're going to go ahead and construct a cottage in the same manner we did the Venetian. And as I mentioned, Angelino's going to go through and he's going to start explaining all the gaming mechanics. 
Uh, that way you don't get lost. If you play the missions through and pay attention, you should have absolutely no problem beating the more difficult ones. Okay, we've constructed our first cottage, and we're not quite to the $4,500 rent mark we need, so we're going to go ahead and build another structure. And we've got enough for another cottage, so we're going to take care of that. Yeah, here's a good example. Angelino is reminding us that we've met all our goals, we just need to increase our rental income. So they'll be more than happy to just give you little tips and tricks halfway through, or a portion of the way through the mission to let you know what's going on. And there we go. No problem. Career earnings are calculated. Added to the top. Mission complete. No problem. No sweat. Now if you complete the mission in a certain time frame, uh, in the upper right where it says deadline, you might have noticed this little hatch mark in the middle. As the time ticks down, it goes from right to left, the green bar decreases. If the green bar is longer than this tick, where this tick lies, you beat it with what's called super efficiency, and you get a blue ribbon for it. Uh, later on, if you want to redo any of the missions, if you want to revisit any of the countries, you'll be able to know which one you've just completed, or which ones you've completed with super efficiency. So we're just going to go ahead and click continue, move on to the next mission. Okay, a new mechanic has been added, a new tech, uh, new thing about the game. Uh, up at the top here in the center, it's called Appeal. Now, if structures are damaged, they bring a negative appeal to the neighborhood, and the overall property tax is just not going to be very favorable. Um, because, well, you got a bunch of busted houses. Uh, on the other side, um, if you paint the houses, restore them, landscape them, that sort of a thing, the property value goes up and then when you sell the house it's worth much more. The same thing with upgrading. A fully upgraded house is worth way more than a house that isn't upgraded. So we're gonna have to restore one house. We need two two-star cottages and a rent of six thousand dollars. Shouldn't be too hard so I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now we already have a bunch of houses that are a bit damaged and of course Angelino is gonna let us know so let's just grab this Venetian here and we're gonna restore it. Restoring is a lot like building. On the left side, we see the workers and materials required. So we're going to go ahead and restore that right away. And we do have one more worker because that only took two. So let's see if we can... Yep, we can restore this cottage as well. If you have multiple workers, you could do multiple tasks at the same time. You don't have to wait. Now let's see. Restoration has taken this house, which is fully up to date now, to $75,000. Before it was restored, well, it was less than half of that. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy restored as well. Now if anyone were to sell these broken down houses, they'd be significantly cheaper on the market. Look at that, 33750 which is what we saw before. Now here's a trick I'm going to show you real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to put our houses on the market as well to undercut the cost. So here's what I mean, and Angelino is making that clear right now. We can buy the house for 33750 If other houses of the same type are on the market, we can offer less or lowball for less money. So we're going to quickly put our two houses on the market. We're going to lowball the offer, which is 23600 if you see on the left side. So we saved a good chunk of change on it because there was other stuff on the market. Now the problem is we didn't actually want to sell our houses, so we're just going to reject these offers and then take our houses back off the market. And we're going to restore that one. And we'll do the same thing here. We're going to put one house on the market. Since there's one other property that's the same, the same cottage, we can offer less. So you buy it normally. If there's nothing else on the market, you can offer less if there's one house on the market, or lowball if there's two. So let's give it an offer less, and no problem. Now you'll know if you've done it incorrectly and you lowballed when you shouldn't, because your offer will be rejected by the op opposing real estate agent. So let's see, two two-star cottages. We can get those upgraded pretty quick. They don't cost much to upgrade, so materials 15 and workers 1. We're going to get those two guys started right away. And let's see, hardwood floors. That sounds good. Let's get that upgrade in both of these as well.
and no problem. With our restorations in our newly refurbished and upgraded cottages, we were able to meet our rent objective as well. Totals get calculated as normal. And there we go. Again, great job, super efficiency, not a problem. One of the nice things about this game is you can tell they took a care into making the game because the music soundtrack is very nice as well. Um, I'm not turning the music down and playing something else. Um, this is music enough, it's calm, it's soothing, it's classy, it's nice. That's really all that needs to be said about it. I like it. <laughs> uh, let's see, so it's time we showcased our construction by enhancing the historic characteristics of the neighborhood. Ah, so some paint. They've opened up the painting for us. Painting is just like upgrading, but it adds appeal to it on the outside because you're, you're changing the appearance of the outside of the house. So let's see, we need four painted houses, one restoration, a Venetian, and plus five appeal. Okay. Right now we have a negative 20 appeal, so there must be a lot of rundown houses in this neighborhood. Let's give it a go, shall we? Yep, and we don't have a whole lot, so what we're going to do is we're going to get these houses restored as quickly as we can, considering that's going to bring us the largest amount of income in the shortest amount of time. Now, if you ever wanted to see a breakdown of any of these things, we can walk through it fairly quickly. Uh, the money and goals, um, which is uh, shows you your goals that you have here. Um, the rent time span, uh, when this fills up to the bar, the money bar, will get paid just like that. Your current rental income, which is what's available, and the potential rental income is if a house has been, let's say, on fire and the fire department has to take care of the house. That would fall under potential income that if the house were repaired, we would get that current income back. So we're going to do the same trick here, actually. We're going to sell, and we're going to lowball. We're going to restore that guy right away, and then we're going to take these two off the market. That's a neat way to get a good amount of money mo uh, moving. Uh, if you're very quick about it, you can build structures that are similar in, in nature, like this Venetian. Oh, now that I just mentioned it, it pops on for sale. Um, we were going to build this Venetian, put it on the market, buy this Venetian, upgrade it, and then, oh, maybe we have enough time. So let's see here. Sell, offer less, unlist, restore. No problem. We're easily very much increasing the value of this neighborhood just by little changes like that. So the big hurdle we've got to hit are those painted houses. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I prefer... Oops, sorry. I clicked a little fast there. You've got about five colors here. Exactly five colors. Red, yellow, teal, purple, pink. Uh, I really like teal. So I usually use that for mine. And Angelino has just mentioned that the curb appeal is starting to go up. And this little smiley icon here, considering these houses have been painted, show the positive appeal that they push out to the neighborhood. In the same regard, when they were negative, they had a little frowny face with a minus 10. That was pretty quick, too. Add up the totals. No problem. Now that we've gone uh, through a few missions together, um, I just wanted to walk through this real quick. We can always replay the level we just had. We can continue with the, the campaign, or we can view our passport. And I'm going to click on View Passport. The passport shows all the levels that we've done and how we've completed them. Now, one through three were the tutorial missions. We just skipped those, and it gave us the expert level blue ribbon for it. These Italian ones, these Italian missions we just completed, we did complete with super efficiency on the blue ribbon, and that was no problem. Later on, when we don't miss our goals, or we take a little too long to reach our goals, it won't be expert, it'll just say complete, and we'll see that later on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed so far, this being the first video. I think that'll conclude it for Italy. Yes, it will. Let's see, where are we going to go? Um, if memory serves, it'll be Switzerland. Next stop will be Switzerland. Absolutely. Sounds good. 
So I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, when we come back for the next video, I'll have Switzerland ready to go. And I hope to join, see you guys, <laughs> to see you guys join me for that. Goodness. <laughs> All right. I'll see you next time.